Hello and what's going on? My name is Henry and welcome to Henry Swatches. Today we are going to have a quick review of this one. My Vostok 710 uh, after ownership for a good month I think. Uh, you have to check out my Instagram to see how long I've owned this one. So for you who don't know I bought this one a couple of months ago as I said and had to take at least two months to arrive uh, so a pretty long wait but it was totally worth it um, also for you who don't know this one is uh, modded uh, I've put an aftermarket bezel an aftermarket bezel insert an aftermarket strap on it I have been planning on replacing the crown with something signed but um, I haven't come across some some crowns uh, because they're pretty rare and there's, they're, they're all, always sold out, always. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, but without further ado, the specs of the watch. So let's start with the dimensions. Uh, 42 K shape, 42 mil. Um, keep in mind that the bezel is actually smaller so the case is a bit thicker than the bezel so it wears a bit small um, the lock to lock is only 46.5 millimeters so it's for everyone's wrist um, I do have uh, relatively small wrists at uh, about 6.75 inches but I can wear it pretty easily um, it's about 50 mil thick so it's a bit of a thick boy uh, <laughs> and um, the it, it, it's about 100 grams I haven't actually uh, weighted it it is lighter than something on a steel bracelet uh, this came on a steel bracelet but it was horrible so I sold it and I wasn't planning on using it anyway um, the case itself is uh, just stainless steel I don't know if it's 316L like everyone uses but I do think so uh, the bezel is stainless steel uh, insert is um, aluminium um, that word was pretty hard for some reason um, acrylic crystal so this one is going to be a scratchy bitch um, so you might want to consider buying some poly watch that will keep the most scratches off your crystal um, it has 200 meters of water resistance uh, it has Vostok's in-house automatic caliber uh, and what's also really cool about this one is well this one every Vostok is the fact you can loosen the first ring up and then you can put a screwdriver on it uh, under it and you can flip the case back off uh, you can do this um, about 100 times or so uh, before having to replace the seals um, so it's really unique and really cool in that way um, as I said this one is a bit of a uh, robust one the movement is uh, not really um, accurate it for for the price it is but not really like uh, minus one minus two Vosak says uh, as long as it's min six, uh, minus or plus 60 it's okay uh, mine runs at plus eight seconds measured in a nap um, I don't have a time grapher yet so uh, it's pretty okay um, and these watch were actually made to uh, conquer everything uh, in 1967 uh, the Russian military launched Vostok with no not Vostok but uh, the Amphibia and the Komandersky line we all know uh, Amphibious were more, uh, were more for the people who were in the Navy in uh, swampy places so this one should be able to resist a lot of crap um, even if you open it up and repair it that's also a thing, the movement is really easy to ser uh, service, I'm not gonna try it um, 
because I don't want to, but maybe in the future, but um, m most soldiers were able to uh, to actually uh, make this watch running again after some damage, if there even was damage. Um, so that's actually pretty cool that they still use the same cases and same building style as they did in 1967. Um, as I said, the Amphibia is actually more of a almond's friend. Almond's friend? I don't know how to say. Uh, most people like this one better because it's a little bit more western. The Commanderskis are just a bit weird. Um, so keep in mind that uh, this is a more common one to see and also the more common one to mod. For the mods, uh, check out my other video I posted, um, I think a week ago. So uh, check that out if you want to see how to do it. Uh, it's actually pretty funny how to how, how you see me struggle with it. Um, I will put it on my wrist so you have a better idea of how it fits, and I will show you a couple of strap options. So there it is, on my 6.75 inch wrist, and as you can see it it fits really nice. So the lug to lug is really short, so it actually fits like how it's supposed to. You have plenty of space between, uh, between the uh, outer lines of your wrist, and that makes it pretty wearable. Uh, even people uh, with small wrists like uh, 6.2, 6.3, maybe just uh, just a regular 6 inch uh, can wear this one. I mean if I can pull it off with my wrists, uh, give it a try. Um, so, that's it. That is my Vostok 710. Uh, if I can give you a couple of uh, positives and negatives about this one um, a big so a big positive for me is obviously uh, the sizes I do really like this case shape it actually is pretty wearable for people with smaller wrists just like me uh, that's actually the biggest pro also the fact that it's uh, robust and reliable is big pro for me. I do think watches are supposed to last over 20 years uh, before considering it a very good watch and for the price you really can't complain. If I had to make one uh, it's probably the fact that the the crystal is plastic. It's uh, Yeah you can say acrylic but it's basically plastic. Um, and I do prefer the crystals of Seiko. They also do use hard legs, uh, but they are way more durable than this one. I've owned the Seiko for two years now, and it doesn't show any scratches. And I have I have had this one for a month, and it's all over the place. So uh, that was it. Um, have a nice day. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one.